about habits. Somebody told me one day that people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits, and their habits decide their futures. Well, this was said by, by F.M. Alexander. So, what do you think about this? Is it true? What's your opinion? Uh, I think that yes. is true. Why? Because we have habits where when we're family and friends and we self. Yes, that's it. You're right. And so uh, what happened with our habits? What's the problem about them? Uh, is only in determined uh, fetches. Okay, you know what? Um, time ago, I was talking to a doctor yes. because uh, my father had a diabetes sickness. All right. And he told me, well, I told my, I told the doctor that I was very worried about it because I didn't want to to have the diabetes also. And as my father had it, so the very, uh, very surely I would have it also. And he told me, uh, and, and I said, you know that all of those sickness are, are for an inherit. And he told me, no, that's not true. Uh, sicknesses are not an inheritance. What we inherit is or the habits of the sick people. So right. we inherit the way we eat, the way we live, and the way we feel. That's why it causes, uh, that's what uh, can cause some sickness. Not because of, of God wanted to. Uh, all right, I understand. I have the habit to um, read so much. To, to read so much, yes. And uh, did your father or your mother or anybody in your family had it? Everybody. That's it. So uh, we not only inherited that, but we learned how to do it and the love. No, we, we developed the affection. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Well, yes. Uh, so that's why F.M. Alexander says that what we inherit, uh, well, that we do not decide our future, we decide our habits. And so, uh, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how often we do some things. Here we have some uh, frequency adverbs and a, sh a brief exercise about how to use it, but I don't consider that it could be necessary. Sandy, we listen to you. I'm, I'm just going to say that I am agree in the matter to follow the conversation, but it's okay. Sorry, continue, please. All right, thank you. Yes, well, I, I thought that, well, this uh, presentation was created for A2, A2 level, but for you, I don't think that it could be necessary to be checking how to use the frequency adverbs. But if you have any doubt, we could do it. Do we consider necessary that we check it up? No. <laughs> All right. So anybody? No? Okay, so let's continue. All right, so let's go to this part. It's nice. I would like, well, uh, uh, talking about habits, we know that uh, what we so frequently do decides how we feel. So my question, how often do you eat healthy food? For example, Brenda, 
talk to us about your, your the, the way you eat. Um, uh, I eat uh, frequently, um, for example, fish and meat and vegetables and fruits all day because I'm work, uh, I, I, I am working so much all day and um, frequently or usually I, I have hungry always. That's it. So you need to, to eat pretty well. All right. Yes. Thank you. So uh, please tell us who's next. Uh, 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 Irma? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. So tell us, how often do you eat healthy food? Uh, I every day eat fruit 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 and fruit and um carbohydrates carbohydrates <laughs> carbohydrates carbohydrates well i don't eat very much uh, healthy food because my work in this moment is in remodelation the kitchen and and we are eating uh, more carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, yes. Carbohydrates and everything more. And I don't, in the morning, I eat fruit and I try to eat more fish. All right, that's it. Okay, Irma, please tell me who's next. All right, teacher, I think is um, <clears throat> Carlos. Thank you. Carlos, welcome. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, the question is, how often do you eat healthy food? I eat healthy food every day. Um, I have problems with sugar and carbs and I need to eat more healthy like uh, fruit and vegetables and some meats without fats. That's it. All right. And pretty good. Carlos, tell us who's next. Mm. Gabriela. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Um, I used to eat a very, very messy diet with, with a lot of carbs and unhealthy uh, food, but I had uh, stomach diseases and I had a surgery two months ago. So right now I must eat very healthy because my very messy habits took me to uh, that disease. So it's very important to be conscious about what we eat because we are that wheat. Yeah, that's it. You know what? I'm so sorry to know that. But yes, as you said, uh, we have to... Gabriela. What happens? Please tell us. First, I had a um, bacteria in my stomach. So I had a very long treatment with antibiotics, very strong antibiotics for a month. And then I had um, uh, esophag paralyzed. Oh my. I have yes. paralyzed stomach, esophagus. Yes, esophagus paralyzed because a B, B, hernia yatal. I don't know how to say that in English. A, a big what, I with you? Hernia yatal. Aha, uh -huh, hernia. 
a hernia, gastritis, esophagic paralysis, the bacteria. So this that was very very hard to me because it's it's a pleasure to eat, no? And because that wrong way to eat, that unhealthy food, I have this package of diseases and I had a, a very strong surgery with uh, unos alambres, me tuvieron que coser el estómago, no? like a bypass, yes, very, very hard to me. So I release the importance to have a good habits of alimentation. Yeah, good feeding habits. Yeah. Well, I am so sorry to know that. But yes, that's what we were talking about. Um, whenever you were sleeping, I heard that somebody said me either. Who said that? Uh, I say I'm so sorry for Gabriela. Ah, I work in, in an hospital and I know um, how delicado is his um, problem. Yes. yes. Oh my. Well, yes, thank you for your comment. But yes, we were talking about it. How often do we eat healthy food? And here we have an example of how important it is. All right, so uh, we have heard Gabby, we have heard um, Irma. So who's next? Um, Carlos. Ah, uh, well, Carlos has already talked to us about his habits. And Carlos M. Um, could you talk to us how often do you eat healthy food? Uh, hi, um, I, I eat, eat healthy food um, daily. Every day? Every That's... day, uh, uh, yes. yes um, uh, how do you say procuro? Um, I try. I try uh, eat healthy food because um, Teens year, uh, I don't know how they say it. Uh, I had the problems and trigly triglycerides. I had triglycerides. Uh -huh. then I had, este, uh, I had triglycerides uh, high, alto. Uh -huh. High level of triglycerides. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. High level triglycerides. Uh, uh, I, I have to to make a healthy habits because that's why uh, uh, the motivo por el cual lo hice. Yeah, that was the reason. That was the reason, yes. Oh, Carlos, we are so sorry to know that. Okay, so Erika, what do you think about it? Erika, can you hear? Can you listen to me? Hello, Erika. All right, maybe Erika is having problems with her microphone. So, Bren uh, Brenda, tell us, uh, how often do you eat healthy food? Mm, um, I try um, every day because um, I, I have a problems with my stomach always. Because uh, I like the um, fat food and and um, sometimes I I am sick of the triglycerides triglycerides and high cholesterol and in the last year I I went to Canada and the food is very strange. And when I come to Mexico, I, I begin to fat food because in Canada, um, there, there's not food, Mexican food. And 
for that, I, I am sick of, of the um, high cholesterol and triglycerides. And in this moment, I try to um, eat health um, food because I don't want to to seek more for my stomach and the triglycerides and high cholesterol. Oh, yes, of course. And please, could you talk to us about the food in Canada? How is it? How different uh -huh. is it? Uh, the food in Canada is um, very sweet, salad sweet, and the more um, hot um, food is the um, barbecue, Mm, chicken and the food is very very without flavor mm, and so plain uh -huh. and this food I don't like it because don't don't there don't there the, um, there's not uh, corn maize uh -huh. and no no tacos not tortillas and the flavor the the meat the um, food is very simple mm, that's it mm -hmm. oh my so well it it can be very differ different in any parts of the world yeah. all right brenda thank you very much you're welcome all, all right so why don't you that, why don't we talk to Maricela? Mari, tell us, please, uh, how often do you eat healthy food? Uh, ah, sorry, uh, I, can, okay. I can activate the microphone. Uh, I try to eat healthy food uh, every day because uh, two, two months ago, I went with a, a nutriologist. A nutriologist. Yeah, the nutriologist, and and she gave me a, a a list of of food that I can I can eat a, a more vegetables and. Uh, and fruit with uh, chicken, uh, no, no oil, no uh, red, red, uh, uh, how to say? Uh, no red meat? No meat? Yeah, meat, yeah. Uh, no, no eggs. Um, and I try to 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 follow the the instructions, and yeah, that's it. My my alimentation. Yeah, you're feeding. Yeah, yeah it seems so sensible. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very yeah. much. So please, um, Rebecca, could you talk to us about how often you eat healthy food? Hello. I try to eat healthy food every day, but I don't have time to eat my breakfast uh, early in the morning and I pass uh, more hours without food and I always have uh, troubles with my weight but i try to eat healthy food uh, some fruit some vegetables every day and my problem my principal problem is with the the water uh, drink water because i don't like i think uh -huh. this, this is my my problem because i don't like drink water so mm, that's it. So, uh, what do you usually drink? Uh, I drink coffee. I drink tea. I drink. Uh, I. It's difficult for me drink water. I drink water 
but I don't like so much. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, it is necessary to uh, drink water, plain water, but, well, I guess that, well, it's my recommendation. If you little by little uh, down the quantity of sugar that you add to the water, or you can eat, you can drink soda, half soda and half water, and little by little you get used to, to drink more water than soda, it could, well, I guess that it could work. I didn't drink soda every day, but I like it. But I don't drink soda every day. But I don't drink so much water. And I think this is my problem because I uh, a little more or less uh, a little of water I drink a little and a half and I think it's a, a little it's uh, yeah it is not enough no uh, yes mm, that's it well yes we we have to do it all right well thank you very much Sandra please talk to us about your habits how often do you eat healthy food. Sandy, can you listen to us? Hello. Well, yes, she may be also having some problems with her microphone. All right, you know what? Now we are going to talk about exercise because it is basic. So uh, what kind of exercise do you like doing and do you regularly do? Uh, Carlos, what about you? Well, I'm doing um, functional exercises like CrossFit, but my condition is so bad right now. Oh my, why? I <laughs> I feel shame about this, but I'm I'm smug. <laughs> ah, that's it. Mm. Yes. Well, yes, yeah, sometimes it is difficult to, to stop doing that. I'm trying to leave the cigarette, but I think cigarettes help me to control my, how can I say, ansiedad? Anxiety. Anxiety. Mm, that's it. All right. Oh, well, I think that it could be good maybe to find any other way to control it so that you can uh, stop smoking. Well, obviously in case that you uh, think that it is necessary yes it's super necessary <laughs> yeah because well let me tell you something some people used to say that they don't know why it could be necessary that they feel well so if it is the case anybody can do anything yes my grandfather is one of these persons <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what? I remember my father also. Uh, my father used to, to drink three liters of Coke every day. He drank any kind of Coke, not only Coca-Cola, but also Red Cola, but also Pepsi. Whatever yes, he my grandfather drank. too. And whenever we preached him, well, not preached, but we recommended him stop doing that, he said, Hey, that's my life. And so you know what? I would die anyway. Anyway, So, silence. Oh, my. And so, yes, we couldn't say anything about it. But, yes, he, he used to do it three liters every day. Oh, my. That's and, so much. Yeah, and I remember when we have the diagnostic of my father's sickness, it was cancer. He had cancer in his stomach. 
Um, and uh, unfortunately, eventually he died. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I put my hand on fire that it was a problem because of the of the coke he used to drink but somebody else told me that it was not only that that problem yes i think i don't think that um, sodas or any special food makes a issue uh, well yes we we should stop doing that uh, okay well now uh, could anybody talk to us about exercising? How much do you exercise? Sandy, now your uh, microphone seems to be opened. Well, turned on. Could you speak? <coughs> oh, yeah. Did you hear me? Yes. Now we listen to oh, you. Perfect. Thank you. Well, um, I have this goal that I'm trying to, to do exercise at least four times a week. Um, I try to do uh, yoga because I like it. It's a great exercise. I feel nice. I recommend you. Hey, that's great. And then, well, I don't know what, what else. <laughs> All right, Sandy. Thank you very much. Rebecca wanted to say anything. Yes, we listen to you, Rebecca. <coughs> I'm, I'm swimming two times a week, twice a week, in some Saturday and Sunday. And I have been swimming for the last five years. Hey, that's great. Swimming is so healthy. Not only healthy, but also delicious. Mm. Yes, it's so relaxing. That's pretty good. Excellent. All right. Now, uh, Mari, what do you think about it? How often do you exercise? Uh, yeah, I I go to the gym uh, five or six days a, a week, and I I go to the class to kickboxing, and a class uh, the name is Gap. It's about uh, gluteus. Uh -huh, gluteus. Uh, yeah, gluteus, abdomen, and legs. Uh, more really exercise. Good. Yay, yeah. it's so hard. Yeah, too much. But yeah. <laughs> the results are pretty good, I guess. So you feel pretty well. Yeah, uh, uh, I go to, to that class uh, a month ago. So the result, <laughs> no, no visible uh, today, but <clears throat> I go, I plan to uh, go, seguir uh, yendo, how do you say? To keep on uh, attending? <laughs> yeah, to keep on attending uh, that class. So uh, in three months, I, I can, uh, I can see the, the result. <laughs> hey, that's great. That's pretty good. You know what? Yeah. I personally think that the most important result of any exercise is to be healthy and to feel relaxed because, yes, you're right. Whenever we exercise, we can sleep pretty well. We can feel not stressed. We can feel relaxed. And that's wonderful to feel well is awesome. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, who's next? Brenda, how often do you exercise? Um, I'm going to yoga two times in a week. Um, the style that I practice is um, Ashtanga and Hatha. Um, the yoga make me feel more relaxed and one um, more mm, less uh, stress for me and more concentration. 
because um, I have in my world sometimes um, many stress and because I am chief in a department and and before uh, I have a I had a three three works three jobs and now I have two two jobs in in two schools and my work um, is very stressful because um, I have um, a many um, how do you say um, responsibilities and and the yoga uh, makes me feel more um, concentration and more relaxed and with less stress and the yoga for me is a better exercise because um, um, before uh, I I do it I did um, spin and um, how do you say um, uh, spin and um, zumba zumba and and those um, exercise I it doesn't doesn't work for me and the yoga is the better exercise for me excellent yes we have to follow a personal program because most most of well some people used to say no 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 that's perfect but not for you maybe maybe you needed something different excellent thank you very much all You're right welcome. so what what do you think about this um, in terms of emotional health because we know that physical health is uh, controlled sometimes by uh, what we eat how much do we exercise and how much we rest but what about our emotional health what's your opinion about it or what do you know about it could anybody volunteer? Hi. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yes. I think yes. emotional is very important because that defines whatever you want to do in the life. That's it. Yes. Pretty good. Thank you, Irma. Sandra, please talk to us about what you think. Sandra? Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I think it's super link emotional help with our all habits, exercise, food, um, etc. Um, when we keep uh, healthy in our mind, your life it's much better, really much better because you could um, do a sport, uh, eat better, uh, do real change, you know, for good. If you are okay in your mind. That's it. Totally agree. All right. Thank you very much. Erika, you want to say anything? Uh, yes. Um, well, I think the, it's very important to be relaxed. Uh, for example, when you are working or whatever you do, uh, because if you are not, if you feel stress or or if you have uh, some sicknesses, uh, you your activities will get uh, bad in all your days that you stay wherever you wherever you stay so i think it's very important to eat uh, healthy food or do or doing some exercise uh, for to be relaxed that's it yes i totally agree with you thank you anybody else any volunteer to talk about it Teacher, uh, as I see it. Yes, Carlos? Uh, yes, uh, as I see it, uh, 
doing exercise it's important because uh, you you have to uh, i don't know how did you say bajar niveles de ansiedad y estrés to low levels to low level anxiety and stress because this is um, uh, bad for bad for for your healthy and, and you have to to do something whatever you want but you you, you have to do something that um, que sea bueno para tu salud. Uh, that can be good for your health. That can, uh, that can be good for your health. Okay, yes. Well, and for you, Carlos, what do you think that could be good for you? Uh, um, I try to, to do exercise. I, I try to swim uh, every, every year. Uh, at least uh, six months to, to, to do exercise as I swimming. That's it. That's pretty good. And yeah. why, why every uh, six months? Uh, because um, for my job, uh, sometimes um, no me permite uh, it doesn't let me it doesn't let me to to go because uh, the job uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't let, let me let me go oh yes i understand well sometimes the schedules no the the time we start working and uh, what time we finish working is not easy to to do any other activity? Um, maybe read, read something that I, I like it and, and, uh, and I try to, to, how did you say, despejarme? To relax. To relax, yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, to try uh, to, to do something and, and, and relaxing. Yes, that's it. Yes, you're right. All right, Carlos, thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, anybody else who wants to talk about this point? You know what? Uh, I heard time ago that we not only have problems because of the way we eat and how much we exercise, but stress is the most difficult to cope with the lifestyle we have in the in the cities, because uh, whenever we have a very stressful activity, for example, uh, we can develop different uh, heart sicknesses, and so or pressure and or a state of health is not as good as it should. So, uh, yes, uh, stress is called the silent killer because we can develop many different diseases because of the stress. Uh, so, could anybody tell me if you consider that the life the lifestyle that we have in the cities uh, has something to, to be with this. Sandy, we listen to you. Sandra? Uh, do you want to say anything? Um, Erika, do you want to say anything? Yes. Uh, well, I think in in when here in Mexico, uh, most of the people uh, are stressful uh, because 
I see on the traffic, <laughs> on the subway, uh, and especially in the in the mornings or uh, or after their works, because um, because of the noise and they they the people often uh, are uh, stressed because they have to go to their jobs or whatever. Uh, so I think there is a problem uh, uh, that could uh, uh, that could um, provoke uh, to be stressed. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, at the end of the day, you can uh, you feel stress and you can be you, you can feel uh, depressed maybe uh, because you do, you have a bad day and that uh, diseases could be a problem uh, in the future uh, for the health that we occasionally um, we occasionally by occasionally by by the stress that we have in, in days yes. so, I, so i think the that could be a problem in for a long time yes yes you're right well it, it is true that uh, we have to cope with the way we live because here in the city, it is not only stressful because of the work, because of our job, but also because there's a lot of people in the city. And anyway, for example, whenever we are in our commute to our job, we go to the subway or mm -hmm. we drive in the avenues and we can spend long hours to go to our jobs or to to school or to go back home and so the only that that only point makes us to feel so stressed so um, carlos uh, carlos m uh, do you drive no i don't <laughs> and how how do you go to work or to school um in subway or public bus. Mm, that's it. And is it stressful? Yes, a lot because that you say the it's so much time hours and I I think I'm wasting my time. You know what? I guess that we can't stop. Uh, we can't help. Uh, thinking what could we do with that time you know for example we can we are thinking about oh my if I weren't here I could be uh, doing my work or I could be resting or I could be sleep a little more yes. that also causes anxiety yes that's one of my problems I'm so I'm kind stressful um, these little things makes me feel so awful. Yes, that's it. All right. Please, Carlos, do you want to listen to anybody else? Um, yes. Okay, uh, who? Um, Rebecca. All right, thank you. Uh, Rebecca, hello. Sorry, I have uh, some troubles with my microphone. Oh, and my okay. Don't worry. Internet connection. Um, about the stress in the city. Yes. I, I think uh, the um, the stress is a problem because we have a lot of things to do. And I feel that I, the people, all, all the people are always in a hurry. And 
it's uh, difficult for for the people uh, like uh, I am in the traffic or else, as uh, Carlos said uh, he he in the public transportation uh, it's so stress, uh, stressful and I think the like you said in the in this city there are so much people and always the people are in uh, in a hurry and i think uh, it's a stress for for us that's because, it that's uh, i don't know what uh, uh, said the she has three jobs or two jobs or, so stressful yeah that's it that's it so uh, uh, well yes i have a question about those two or three jobs uh, we teachers sometimes whenever we work uh, in hours in some schools we have to go running from school to school so i guess it was irma irma did you say that you had two jobs or it was uh, Brenda who said that uh, me me Maggie I, okay. I I have a two job I am professor teacher in two schools and my mostly stress is to move in between the one school and the other school for me it's very stressful because um, I, I drive all day and this is more stress for me that I, I teach in the school. Yes, that's it. Whenever you go from school to school, you face the traffic, you face the problems with transportation. So Brenda, how do you go to your schools? Uh, do you have a car or do you go by public transportation? I have a car. I drive um, all day, and this is stressful for me. For me. Yeah, to cope with the traffic. Yes, the traffic is very stressful for me, and and because I I have to check in this school in in that school in the terminate hour and the other school in, in a, another hour and I, I have to, to arrive very exactly. Yes, that's it. I totally understand you. You know what? I have the same problem. I go from one preparatory school to another and oh my, so <laughs> sometimes I am so nervous because I don't know if I am going to be on time or not. Yes. And so the authorities, of course, they, they understand. But anyway, they tell you, all right, you know what? Two more delays and you are going to have a discount. I understand you, but anyway, you will have a discount. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Erika, do you want to say anything? Uh, no, teacher. Ah, that's because I saw your, your yes, hand. Yes, my hand is still like that. <laughs> All right. Anybody else who, who voluntarily wants to share your experience about traffic and your commute home or your commute, your commute to your job? No? Um, Irma, what do you think about it? I I don't know how to say you because I my work is four cuadras from my house. Wow, hey, that's nice. That's yeah. really good. That's so nice. You know what? Mm, now that I am working in Ilse, I share that experience with you. I work from my home 
And yes. that's beautiful. That's wonderful it's, because it's so good. Yes. Uh, at morning, I am running from here to there because I have to go to a preparatory school and later on I go to another. But by the afternoons, I am home. And so I don't need to go out of my house. I don't need to be on risk. I don't need to be on stress. So that's beautiful. I really love this job. Yes, it's very good to have the job um, from your house. Yeah, somebody told me, you know, Maggie, I would be so stressed to be all of the time in my house because I don't see anybody else. And well, yes, it may be. But I remember that when I was working by the evening in another university, I stopped working at 10 o'clock in the evening. And I, at that time, I had to come back home. And as I don't have a car, then it was uh, so, so difficult for me, so tiring, so risky, so painful, and yeah. so stressful. Now that I don't go to the university by the evening, I am very relaxed, definitely. Uh, that is very good, teacher. Yeah, so much. All right. Well, if you don't have any other opinion, uh, anything else to say, I thank you so much. Uh, and see you next class. Okay, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good Bye, night. Teacher. See you. Wow. Later. Okay, good, good night. night, everybody. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you on Tuesday. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. See you next Tuesday. Thank you.